This is why you're struggling to manifest. You're trying too hard. Almost certainly, our natural state is creation. Manifestation, just as, as a practice, all the techniques, the whole thing, only serves to get us out of our own way. I know this, this may be a bit of a, a culture shock for anyone who's, who's really into the, the message of manifestation and uh, dare we call it manifestation culture. But manifestation is a means to an end. It is not the law. It's already within you. So really, really, there's only two things you have to do. You have to know what you want. You have to be certain. And then you have to let it go. And that is the hardest part. The first part, the, 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 the choice, that's the most important part. But that second part, that's the hardest part. How do we not do something, right? Yeah, how do we let it go? So I want you to picture reality as an infinity symbol, okay? And then I want you to contemplate the possibility that what you're experiencing right now, what you're perceiving to be the present moment is not the present moment. It's the past. So if the entirety of reality is represented by <clears throat> infinity, what you're actually experiencing as the present moment is one of the loops, what I call the experience loops. So either you're going up, either you're going down, doesn't matter. And it all loops back around so you end up going up and down and if you unfolded it into a, a wave into a single line rhythm so if the present moment isn't the present moment and is actually a delayed reflection an echo a, a ripple of your previous thoughts feelings decisions and what's in the center that is the real present moment the one we're not perceiving but we can interact with it we interact with it through choice think about it is that not our greatest and only power choice everything everything comes back down to choice and so many of us give it up. We allow ourselves to feel powerless and we allow others to choose for us. But choice is our birthright. Choice is the present moment. And the present moment, as Ra says, contains love. So how do you get what you want? First, you choose, you decide what you want. And I wanna be very clear here, this doesn't mean that you have to fixate on it. In fact, the more you fixate on it, the more weight you give your experience and that weight is going to increase the experience loops. And when the experience loops are bigger, it's gonna take a lot longer for you to get what you want. Trust that your subconscious knows what you want. In fact, the goal is to get to a point where you don't even have to affirm anything. I don't even want you to think about manifestation. You could just treat it as you're training to become the luckiest 
person in existence. Where the smallest fleeting thought of anything you could possibly want appears before you. So know what you want. Don't muddy the waters. Make a choice. But let it go. You know that old, old saying? If you love something, set it free. If it returns, it was meant to be. Exactly. Exactly. You have to love your desire. Because when you love it, you can let it go and it will return. All right, so now we get to the hard part. Well, the part that I think most people struggle with. Let's not attach loaded concepts like difficult to it. It's just where a lot of us seem to get stuck because we're human. Letting go. I think this has helped slightly by understanding, like I said a moment ago, that you already know deep down what you want. So really the choice of what you want is just committing to it and not muddying the waters. Stripping away all the ifs, buts, and maybes and the fears, right? Let it go. So what I want you to think about is if we come back to our infinity symbol that is our reality, we need to move slowly. Think about it. If you're traveling around the edges of this symbol, the faster you go, reality is malleable. Your experience is malleable. The faster you go, the wider those experience loops are going to get. The longer it's going to take to get what you want, the more your t period of suffering, the longer it'll take. So we need to move slowly. We need to move towards the center so that this is hard to do with my fingers so that those loops get smaller. I think oddly enough, dating is a perfect analogy here. And we've talked about this before. We know that the more desperate you are, the more you need to be in a relationship, the more you got to push people away. You need to remain strong within yourself, not as a display of power, not for any power dynamic bullshit, but because you are the most you, the most powerful when you are one centered within yourself and people approach this in many different ways meditation is big right general mindfulness slowing down in your daily life and observing the world around you the goal is to remain in the moment because as Ra said the moment contains love So you have to let go of the belief that many of us have that we have to go out and, and get something. We have to do something. We have to slow down because when we slow down, time will actually move faster for us. Our experience will move faster. Remember the loops. So if we're putting all this energy and speed and, and focus, attention into traveling around this loop of reality, those loops are going to get bigger. So when we slow down, take our time, remain within ourselves, the loops get smaller and our experience gets quicker. You will get what you want sooner. You will be able to pack more into your time. You increase the perceived value of the day.
it's like the analogy you've heard this one before i'm certain the analogy of 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 the body of water right when when the water is still when it is calm you can see through it when there's waves and ripples it, it's it's unclear it's that and i know i know that it's really difficult it can be to let go of the need to to do even if it's like trying to take mental action and we've talked about the fact that yes you absolutely have to take action to get what you want but it's not the cause action is the effect you don't have to do the right thing to get what you want you allow what you want to come to you and the right thing will the right action will manifest itself in fact it won't even matter what you do I want you to understand that you cannot fail. As always, take what resonates and discard the rest.